Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Agrarian Skies. Uh, so today I've got quite a lot of stuff planned. Uh, first of all I want to start off with the simple ones, like I've got this one over here. Just a destabilized redstone, which is basically 10 redstone in a magma crucible. So we should be able to do this. Nice, clean reward. Oh, the seat uh, actually got finished. Um, let's take the reward back this time. Oh, it's an epic one. That is not epic at all. Unless that's very useful wood. I don't know, let's see. Oh crap, that's not working in here. Yeah, not very useful. Um, attuned, purple. Need to look up again what they do. Let's actually check. No, only one half hot. Okay. So you got that, we can actually, I guess we can put it in here, we don't need it for now. Uh, by the way, how you you might ask how I did this one again. Uh, refreshed on interval. Resets in one day and 20 hours. Oh, I guess that's Minecraft days. Unfortunately, I don't really have a switch to turn it off or on. Uh, but right now I just have uh, it exporting seeds into here. Which makes seed oil cans. Oh. Well, there's no more seed oil cans in here, so now it just fills up the basin, goes into the fluid duct, into the quest delivery system, which I guess I have to reset. Okay, so what I did, I just basically put a lever here, so I can actually turn it off right now, because otherwise it would just be wasting seeds. Because uh, I've got to wait like one day and eight more hours before I can actually do this quest again. So I might as well not use any of it for now. Uh, but basically what this does is, I think I already told you, seeds uh, get pumped in, gets turned into seed oil, gets pumped out into the quest delivery system. Which I can't really reset right now because I can't select the quest. And that's basically it pretty easy. Also it's getting power from the same thing that powers my EA system. Which is doing fine. So no worry on that. Now let's go back up. There should be something else we can deliver right here. That should be enough. Let's see. You gotta go over to Fort of Hoarding. There you go. Claim reward. Any more quests here? Nope. Good. That is pretty useless, but I'll take it. It should have unlocked one quest elsewhere, but I don't see here. Then there is some stuff I want to craft. Let's see. Yep, it's over here. So we want to make an Emmy crafting CPU, an Emmy length pattern, an Emmy heat vent, an Emmy assembler container, and I think, yep an emmy pattern provider. That should be all of them. So if we go to for the hoarding again. Yep. Um, oh, all of them. Sure, let's take it. So we got some good stuff from that. Let's see. Emmy interfaces, very useful for automation. We got some basic stuff now for crafting. Of course that's not enough yet. We've got a new yellow heart canister which is very useful. That should give me up to 12 hearts if it detects it. Come on, heal. Huh. Oh, it should uh, start adding up soon. And another heart. Let's just consume it because we died again. I went AFK. And a greater bag. Nutmeg. That doesn't sound very useful. And let's see, one more thing. Uh, no, we need 500 more tomatoes before we can actually harvest that. Um, but we're getting close. Um, also, over here, this thing has been running quite a bit. And what I did actually is over here, we've got a item filter which pumps out honeycomb and the drones and the princesses. And over here, the Nope, nothing. Basically, if anything fits in, this is the top, so in here, only these two slots go in. 
So basically, it sees if there's already a, qu uh, a princess, a queen, or a drone in. If it's full, it just continues down this line. And then over here, we have a blacklist for honeycomb. So basically, in here, it goes all the bees, which, as you can see, I got quite a bit extra now. And in here are going to com combs, and they automatically get centrifuge down to honey drops and bee squigs. I just have to put them manually in here. And that just gives us some, us some honey, because we actually got that one almost done as well. If we go back over to here, uh, as you can see, 92%. So I think that's only like eight more of those buckets. Uh, how much do we have to get for this? 50,000, so I guess that's 50. That means 500 redstone, I think. That's a lot, but this is what we got from the ore we got last time. Was it already two times back? Well, it got us about 3,200, which should last us a while, unless we're gonna do that redstone quest. Um, but there's some other stuff I wanna do. Let's see. Did I have anything else in here? No, except for this. Uh, so let's make a sewer. All four of them actually. Let's grab this stuff we already had. Let's make a slaughterhouse and a chronotyper. And we also want to grab another lasso. And actually, let's just make it a, con a complete new area. So let's just get some dirt and some fences. And I think that should do it. Because I just want to make it a temporary setup somewhere. Uh, let's see, because we're going to need power for this. Uh, maybe we'll just put it down here, actually. Maybe. Uh, well, no, we don't really have power down here. Huh. Maybe on top of this line here, we can do some. Um, okay, let's just do the first part, which is really easy. We have to get a sewer. Okay, maybe it's not that easy. Um, let's see. That should work. Just takes a bit longer. There we go, sewer. And then we should have... And fluid duct. Oh wait, this is the item duct. Crap. Did we bring fluid ducts? Yes. Almost. There we go. And then we want to place the tank. Just for temporal setup. Look at that. Already a lot of sewage. Actually, we could already grab that and give that manual detect. Let's see, how much do we need? Smelly shit. Yeah, that's right. We need a lot of it. Um, what we could do, actually, is just already do this. Let's see. Uh, we need quest deliver delivery system. That should do it. So if we go over here, break this. Oh, did we drop it? Please tell me. No, we got it. Okay, good. And then we want to set this one to select task. There we go. So now it should actually go automatic already. 300, 400. Yeah, cool. And actually, we're going to upgrade this one because it doesn't, it only grabs like a 3x3 three three area. So this way it should go a lot quicker. Yeah, look at that. Instead of 100 by 100 every time, now it takes... Oh, look at that. That's goes a lot quicker. About three times as quick. That's good. Uh, so we got that in place. Then we want to set up... This, however, is going to be temporarily. Let's see, we're going to have a slaughterhouse. 
want to grab one more instrument, or do we have the on us? No, we don't. Let's quickly go back. Didn't prepare everything, most of it though. Let's actually put some stuff away. Don't know. Don't need that. That. Oh crap! We do need the item ducts, I think. So what we want to do is actually get a. What do you call it? Oh, man, it was in my head right away. Oh wait, I think something like a hammer. Yeah, there we go. Precision sledgehammer, and actually a lever would be good. So we can turn it off and don't kill all the cows. That should be good. Um, let's see, let's just set it up on this side for now. Oh, we have to do it on the other side. Cool. And just do that. Let's see. So right now it affects... We have to look at the, the red box, not the purple one on the outside, because that is actually the other one. Because um, actually you can see if I upgrade this one, did I? Oh, you can't upgrade this one. Okay. Um, but that is perfectly in the fence of the cows. And actually, since we don't actually have chickens anymore, let's just do this. And get those out of the way. And now, actually, they won't. he won't even be able to kill all of them as long as they spread out a bit. And if I remember correctly, actually, I don't think they even kill small cows, the slaughterhouse. Um, but I might be wrong about that. We'll, we'll notice it soon enough. I mean, if we start seeing baby dies, or babies die, we pretty much know what the case is. Um, but yeah, let's just breed some just to make sure. I'm gonna have to breed them in the future anyway. Did I actually make a breeder? No, I didn't. Um, let's see. Let's go over here. This one actually, yeah, moving babies. Uh, so this one, I actually wanted in the beginning. Basically what you can do, this thing moves babies. So if I would put the fence back here and here and put a block on top of this one so they can't get over, I can basically make the cows on this left side breed and then the baby cows get pushed over and as soon as they grow up, this thing kills them. Um, but since you actually can't reach over here, it should be fine. But if not, we can just put some fences in between. Um, but for now... Oh crap, I should put it on the side, or the top. Because over here we want to have some other stuff. So this has an inventory, actually two of them. And it's probably also going to have output of items. So let's just put the chests not there, because that's where the fence is, of course. I'm so smart, of course. Let's do that, and let's just make a go. Let's see. Actually, we have to get this one out of here. Um, this will work, I think. It will actually pull it out, but it won't go in there. Well, it will, it will go in there, but it doesn't do anything, since it's the wrong one. Let's just place this one behind it, and we'll see what comes out of it. Because actually there should be two things that come out of here. Uh, basically liquid meat, which is also one of the things we need if I remember correctly. Yep. And there should also be a pink something. And that is what is going to make us the pink purp... Uh, purp? No, the pink... What do you call those things? Let's see. Grill. I think it was in one of these recipes. Yeah, we need it for this. Pink slime ball. And basically, you should be able to get it from this. If I re if I can rely on my s what do you call it? Oh, I'm bad with words this episode. Let's just break that. Place that. Outputs all off. Top will be an output. Oh, it's already working. Let's just turn it off. That worked pretty well. So in here we got now meat, 742, that's not enough. Let's kill some more. Come on. 
You're close enough. Just have like, oh, there it goes. Cool down. Each four eight. That's not enough either. Let's see. Let's move you in there. Get it. Nice. Kill this one. Take this offer. Take it. But it has a cooldown, so it has to wait sometimes. Let's see, how much do we have now? A thousand. Perfect. That should be enough. Why do I have a sewage bucket? There we go. Meat. Manual detect. Cool. Theme reward. So we got those done. Uh, so now soon we want to start automating these good ones. Uh, the smelly one, as you can see, is pretty easy. Uh, then we have the meat, which actually requires a breeder that's going to be put in there. Uh, I'm going to have to put wires all the way over here. And there's going to be a wheat farm input also into the breeder. And, oh, oh, let's turn it off before I kill everything. And there's one more thing I have to do for it. And actually, let's check. No, this one is empty so far, but that's the one that should... Just gonna oh here pink slime but I need a bucket of that if I remember correctly so as soon as that's enough we should be able to make the drill as well which is kind of nice but just for now it's just temporarily I'll probably make a good setup over here once I've got the materials but that's just gonna be something I'll do off camera um, let's see am I forgetting something let's actually check this because we might be able to get the honey as well Get one more here. I think we're just not gonna make it. Not in time. Now that we have that, let's see. We're gonna need how much more? Seven. Okay, that's not gonna happen on this part. Maybe next part of the video. Uh, we'll have to see how much I skip or how much time I've got left. Um, no, I wanted to do this. Oh, no, can't do it yet. How much longer? 14 hours, okay. Let's see, what are the other things? Ethanol, mop, essence, biofuel, gelat. What's this? Mushroom soup. Okay, so for this we need... What? Ranger. Let's make one. Ranger. Okay, we don't need to craft some stuff. So this way you can actually see how well this works, this machine. To quickly make some stuff. It actually takes a lot of time to actually take them out of the machines and put them into the crafting tables. But it's a bit more fun that way to do it on camera. Um, but this is the ranger. This is also handy for shearing sheep. So what I'm actually probably going to do is just place it in between and just put a chest behind it um, as you can see it should cover yep it's pretty hard to see but it basically covers two blocks on both sides which is enough I could actually do probably an upgrade no okay um, so a ranger basically what it does if I remember correctly it shears sheep and apparently it also shears mushrooms too bad I don't have any of those, but I think oh, you can make those. Not that way. Spawn. I think. Yeah, let's see. Do we have any of these? Or is that a higher one we don't have yet? I think we got the blue one, don't we? Let's quickly check. So we might be able to get mushrooms and I should pr pretty much be better at any point. Oh, it's empty. Um, well, let's just take it. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. It went up. I have a feeling I'm forgetting something I was also planning on doing. Oh, nice. And the pills. So, yeah, I installed uh, the inverse spike again for now. Wow, 60 more enderpearls in here. We're doing good. But I don't see... 
my oh crap did I actually pick it up or am I just blind or is it just not made I think it just haven't hasn't made it up here yet hmm strange well anyway let me just get rid of these two buckets let's take, let me actually place them down because some of these actually give a fun effect. This doesn't seem to do anything. And I'm afraid to actually try out the sewage. But, you know, for science. Oh, crap. That's bad. Hunger, slowness, and poison. Yeah. Nasty. Let's just put that away. Somehow. Oh yeah, let's just get rid of it here. And yeah, for now. Cool. So we can put that in here. All this stuff away, because we don't need it for now. But uh, I'll probably just improve that setup off camera. It could get a bit boring. Um, so yeah, let me get some more stuff together because I think we got a bit of time left, and that also will allow us to maybe get this B quest as well. So I will be right back. Okay, so it looks like we got about five more minutes. Uh, so first of all, what I want to do is go over to here, do select task, get it back up and running. Just so we can get some more uh, reward bags or industrial apiaries, pretty much for free. So we got plenty of seeds. Look at how quick that goes. Nice. And also, let's see. This one. I need three more. I mean, seriously, three. Let's see. Did I actually have anything like that in here? No. However, what I do want to make, is, as you can see already, is the genetic template. There's also a genetic labware, which I want to make. Actually, give 16, which is pretty good. And we can put that over here with all our B stuff. And that actually means that if everything went alright, this one is almost done. Yeah. All we need now is an empty serum. However, that's going to be tough because we go over to empty. Over here, we should have the serum. Uh, where is it? There. Uh, so this seems easy, like glass, gold, we all got it, except for royal jelly. The royal jelly you get from imperial bees, which I don't have. So I, to make that, I have to combine it uh, majestic with a noble, which we don't have both. So majestic is made from noble and cultivated. So we don't have, if we have cultivated, we just don't have nobles. And noble is also the one we needed in the first place, so that means we all, all, we, all that's left to, that we need is noble. So to make that, we need common and cultivated. Well, cultivated we have, so only thing we need is common. And common you basically get from any type of basic bee combined with any other type of basic bee. Um, so it is pretty possible we also could get a mutatron uh, but that would allow or that would just take a lot of power and I don't know how to get mutagen actually oh that is actually pretty easy just glowstone anything else? no huh that actually might be doable then Let's see, how, how expensive are those? Because that would make it a lot easier, that seems a lot more, like, understandable. Oh, that's all that stuff. Let's see, which one did we make already of those? Genetic imprinter and genetic sampler. And we needed the jelly. And to make that... We need to make a mutatron and a mutagen producer. So, oh crap. 
So none of those are in there, so let's see. Muta. Okay, so we have to make the mutagen producer and the mutatron. That should be doable. Muta. Let's see what we have of that. Like pretty much nothing. Oh crap, what are we missing? Oh, these. Oh, yeah, I have to make a lot of bronze for these. But we should be able to make that. Maybe I'll uh, prepare that in between episodes. So we might be able to get the royal jelly soon. And then, there is one more thing I want to do. So as you can see, 10k. So now, if we go down, see which one is it? This one. Turn it on. Move stacks of items. Now if we go in here, to Hell's Kitchen, look at that, all we have to do is wait a few seconds and it should be done, which means that we could pretty much remove the tomato, even though we are going to need it for future recipes, just for now I, ju I think I just want to replace them with uh, two lettuce and one, oh actually we can do that right away, I want to do it like, let's see, remove those, Place these and place one of that. Oh crap! Well, I can. The good thing about this, I can just put them in here. That puts it in the system. Let's see if we get any more honey. Oh come on, we need two more. Let's make a day so they keep working. Okay. Uh, let's see, this thing isn't overflowing at all, which is good. Everything is running. Let's quickly eat. So that should slowly, yeah, that goes already. We got some lettuce in there. And in the corners it's going to go as well, because actually uh, I was low on seeds. Look at that gal having fun with the small ones. Oh, and these grew up, so I can breed those. Um, but that's not on our agenda right now. Anything in here I need to do? Nope. So let's take a look in here. Oh, we got it done. Let's go with the reward bag. Nice. Let's get it. Good. Um, so one second, let me get the last little bit of honey, and then I'll be back to finish the episode. Okay guys, so I'm back for the last part and I actually want to show you something. I redid this like small tree farm I had and I ended up from 10 logs. I think it was then like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, it's 10 I had here but I basically just replaced everything with dirt so now I can actually do this. Ooh. Okay, good. And usually now it gets a bit laggy because of all the decaying leaves. But that is still pretty awesome. So this X somehow uh, calculates, of course, where all the wood is. And since the trees are right next to each other, it basically does it all as one. And it does not count as like one durability here. It actually takes like every single log it cuts. It's like one XP. So it's actually already leveled up. And I've only like harvested this like five times. And already got like another, what did we get on it? Reinforced. And I think there's one or two more levels to do. But look at that, how quick it goes. Like one or two more chop downs of these and it should be level up again. But yeah, I'll have to wait till that decays and then I can pick up all the apples and saplings. And over here we should have enough now, since I just ate something. Yep. Actually in real life, so... That should have been enough time. One, two, three. Let's just put these in as well. I mean, YOLO. Um, quest book. And we'll have to go... Yeah, we did this one. So the, th the other thing I'm focusing is on, focusing on the right now is leafy greens, which is 50,000 lettuce. Just quickly show you. The toasty bread, which means 10,000 toast, which uh, toast basically is a cooked bread. And right now I've got 5,000 breads, so we're over the, over halfway there. And uh, lettuce, we're about one-fifth done, a bit more. 
And there's one more I want to focus on, and that is this one, H juice. So I have to make vinegar, which is basically 10,000. Okay, so what that does is basically you have to get a fruit with a bottle or with a juicer, and you get apple juice, orange juice, depends on what kind of juice you get. And then that juice, which with a, I think again, a juicer, will get you vinegar. So basically I have to get a lot of, let's, I can actually show you vinegar. Yeah. Oh no, it's a pot. Uh, but basically I use apple juice, and you get that from an apple and a juicer. And so basically all I have to get is 10,000 apples. And right now I already had like 400, that's where all the bottles came from. Because that is actually kind of a bug, it gives you bottles back when you empty them. And I got 400 apples, so I'm about at 800, which about is one tenth. Um, but I'm working on that one as well. Um, but now let's go over to fluids. Get this guy. Purple princess. No, we don't need that. I guess we could try this. But then again, I think the scoop you only need for breaking a hive. And we don't have hives, so let's just go with the bag, I guess. Seems like a reasonable thing to do. So we got a greater and an epic one. And I have no idea where did I get the epic one from. Oh, probably from uh, potatoes, maybe. Fish jerky, so that's crap. But the epic one is... Oh, that is actually really good. I actually want to put one down already. Uh, let's just place it down. Oh, wait, can we do it? We'll have to see how they place themselves. Okay, but we can do this. I think that's the correct way. Yep. And basically that what this one is going to be doing... I will give, be giving him. Let's see. Um, right. Do we have them even? Leaves. No. Because I need a lot of dirt. Like, a shit ton of dirt. Uh, so, basically, my plan on that is just making a bunch of those ones. And we'll just basically keep making dirt from saplings or leaves and I'll have to see what is easier to get because I already have a lot of saplings that I don't use uh, but I can also just turn it into sheer leaves yes and that will also get me a lot of leaves which means a lot of dirt um, but that's just basically something I will have to set up soon but I think that's gonna be it for today let's quickly replant all of this almost all of that Oh, they actually sound different. Yeah, look at that. It's an apple oak sapling. So this is from forestry. And I don't know why I got that. Huh, strange. Come on, three more saplings and I would be even. Oh, look at that. That one dropped me in a sapling and an apple. Oh. Uh. That's one more. Come on, one more. Seriously, am I one sapling short? Okay, that just sucks. Nothing in there. Let's see if we can grab one. Yeah, there we go. Oh, now we got four. Well, that's okay. Um, so I think that's going to be it for today. I got quite some work done, actually. Like, I think we did like five or six quests. Um, I'll have to make this look a bit better. Gotta have to get the breeder in here, gotta get the pipes over here, and once I got that all working, I will show you how it's done. And I think, actually pretty well know, that's gonna be the end of the episode. Uh, food, there we go. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, if you did, please leave a like, subscribe, all the fun stuff you usually are known to, and then I will see you next episode. Actually, no, we can't keep that. We'll just have to put a new quest in there. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it. See you guys. Bye-bye.